In this video, I will be solving this integral. So this is a problem sent in by a fellow Reddit user, and he wanted me to solve this integral. So the first thing that I see is that we're dealing with hyperbolic trigonometric functions. We've got hyperbolic cosine right here and hyperbolic sine right here. And we abbreviate that as cosh and cinch. So a little background on these functions in case you guys didn't know. Cosh is equal to e to the x plus e to the negative x over 2. And cinch is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2. So basically where these expressions come from is the triangle formed by the x-axis, the asymptote, and the unit hyperbola. So this triangle right here. And these are just trigonometric identities that deal with this triangle rather than the normal trig functions that we're used to with this right triangle, where cosine and sine would correspond to this triangle, and cosh and cinch correspond to this triangle. So I just wanted to point that out just so you guys have a little intuition of these functions because I know they're not really explained in school. So anyway, let's start this integral by substituting in for cosh and cinch these expressions. So we can turn this integral into the following. e to the negative x over 2 and plus 3 times e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2 dx. And I can distribute the 5 and 3 so we can simplify this a little bit so that we get 5 halves e to the x plus 5 halves e to the negative x plus 3 halves e to the x minus 3 halves e to the negative x and with respect to x. So now what we're going to do is we're going to combine like terms. So let's go ahead and simplify that. And what we get is, so 5 halves plus 3 halves is 8 halves, which is 4. So we get 4e to the x plus, and then we have a 5 halves minus 3 halves, which is 1. So e to the negative x. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide the top and bottom of this fraction by e to the negative x. So when I do that, what I get is 1 over e to the negative x over 4e to the x over e to the negative x plus e to the negative x over e to the negative x dx. And this is going to be equal to the integral once we simplify this. We get e to the x over, because this e to the negative x, since it's a negative exponent, it flips up to the top. So the top's taken care of. And then for the bottom, same idea right here. This e to the x right here flips up to the top, making it a 4e to the 2x. And then this term right here cancels to 1. <clears throat> so now we're going to use u substitution on this guy right here, e to the x. So we'll say... Let's let u equal e to the x, and therefore du is going to equal e to the x dx. So when we substitute this in, we get the integral of 1 over 4u squared plus 1 du. And I'm going to rewrite this as the integral of 1 over 2u squared plus 1 du. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform trig substitution and I'm going to substitute in for 2u and I'll substitute in tangent of w. And therefore if we solve for u we get 1 half tangent of w and if we take the derivative of this what we get is 1 half secant squared of w dw. So let's go ahead and substitute that expression in. So we get 1 over we substitute in for 2u, so tangent of w squared plus 1, and times du, which is, I'm going to put the 1 half on the outside because it's a constant, so I can bring it outside the integral. So 1 half times secant squared of w dw. And recall from geometry, another trigonometric identity, that tangent squared plus 1 is equal to secant squared. So I can further simplify this 
integral to be equal to the integral, or sorry, one half times the integral of one over secant squared w times secant squared w dw. So the secant squareds cancel out and what we're left with is one half the integral of dw. And now we can easily integrate this because this is just equal to one half times w. So now we need to find what w is, but recall up here, we said that two u is equal to tangent of w. So if we solve that equation, we get w is equal to tangent inverse of two u. Now we need to go back to this expression up here and solve for, and plug in for u. So if we come back down here, we can say that this is equal to tangent inverse of two e to the x, where I just substituted back in for u, uh, e to the x. So we, now, we have, now we know what w is, so we can complete this integral by plugging in for w into this expression, which is going to be equal to 1 half times w, which is here, tangent inverse of 2e to the x. So this is the answer.